another episode of cooking series with Jessica Kings. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make something different. I'm going to show you guys how to make something that you spend so much money on buying and it's actually something that's very simple and easy to make and you can get the ingredients to prepare them from the comfort of your home like the things you can literally find in your kitchen. If you get shawarma, then you're right. Yep, it's shawarma. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make my special shawarma and I'm going to be sharing my recipe with you. There are things that you can get from the comfort of your home. So please stay with me and let's make magic together. Bye! So for this recipe, I'm going to be using some cabbage and then I have here with me naan bread. Some people call it naan bread or tortilla bread or um, flat bread, whichever one you call it, it's fine. And then here with me, I have some sausage that I have stir fried. And then I have here some carrots and some shredded chicken and beef, shredded chicken and shredded beef, some mayonnaise, some um, minced meat, onions, ketchup, Greek yogurt, sesame oil, honey, apple cider, lemon, and black pepper. So um, this is my mixing bowl. I'm going to start by mixing up all my wet ingredients, or should I say liquid ingredients first. So firstly, I'm having my mayonnaise. I'm using all of this because I'm making quite a lot. And then secondly, the ketchup. And then my Greek yogurt. I'm actually going to stir this up well. I'm making my base. This is very, this is actually a very important step because this is going to make or mash your shawarma. I've mixed this up well, and then next I'll be adding in half lime. I'm going to stir this up well. My base is coming together nicely. I'll be using one cup of my apple cider and then I'll be adding in some honey. So it's going to add, it's going to act as a sweetening agent. I think this is enough. I'm going to stir. So I've been mixing for a while and as you can see, I have a consistent mixture. And I'm ready to start the whole process. But before then, I'm going to actually fetching out a little of this mixture because I'm going to be needing it later. So next, I'll be pouring all my filling into my batter. First of all, I have it in my shredded chicken and then my shredded beef. Then here I have my minced chicken, minced beef, sorry. And then I have with me some diced onions. And very importantly, my black pepper. Guys, <laughs> I don't know about you guys though, but as a Yoruba girl that I am, the Yoruba blood in me, I never seen no to so much pepper. So um, this is my cabbage here with me. And I actually had to reduce some of it because I noticed that it was it was too much for the um, butter. And then here I'm adding in some carrots. And I'm going to mix this up together so I get a good consistency. And then everything is mixed up well. So I've been mixing this up for a while. And as you can see, my colors are even. I've mixed up my carrots and cabbage well. And next, I will be mixing my batter with all of this guys can you see how i can i feel like i can even eat this alone with just bread so i've poured in my butter mixture with my protein and i'm going to start mixing up everything i've been mixing this for a while all my muscles hot right now because it's quite much and as you can see, it's very creamy and very nice and it looks so beautiful. 
My friend was even saying that I can eat this with rice already. Can you imagine? I'm going to be rubbing it on the first part and at the end here so that the sealing is okay. And then I'll start the filling process. So I have here with me my filling and then one sausage. I'm going to be wrapping this up. So this is the part where I'm going to seal this up together. Then I'll put it on fire so that it still So I told you guys you are going to be looking for and I'm wrapped up four beautiful shawarma and now I'm going to be putting them in a foil paper and then I'll put it in an oven directly. I don't have to heat it on the pan first to seal the mouth before having to put it in an oven. So I'll just wrap it up in a foil paper and put it directly in an oven. oven. Thank you guys for watching please do well to like share subscribe and comment see you guys on my next video bye